the kings of the nightlife, you know what I'm saying? We got somebody very, very, very special in this motherfucker today, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, actually, it's just the second female artist we ever had on the show. So we're gonna applaud for that. So you put your hands together. You doing? You doing? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a new artist. She got some heat for your ass, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Golden Weight. Hi. You know. How are you today? I'm gonna let you properly introduce yourself so they know who you is and how you get down. Well, I am a Golden Way from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I sing, I write, um, I dab a little with the production, but I'm not that <laughs> great. And <laughs> um, I'm just a fun city girl that's from the country. Okay, okay. So, Max, how long you been doing music? All my life, uh, essentially. I started in the church, of course. And okay, you yeah. know. One of them church voices. <laughs> um, you know, church girls don't sing. You know, they sing. I sing. Because I was a soprano in the choir. Okay. But, <laughs> um, other than that, like, I grew up with uh, six other siblings. Oh, okay. um, It's actually a group of ten of us, but my mom you know, had <laughs> six, so I got to, you know, separate them like that. But no, we all siblings. It's, <laughs> Ten of us, and we be we be chilling, we be vibing. And so, what, what do you like? Fun. What do you like most? You like writing, singing. Um, I like singing more than writing. Actually, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know how we do on this show. We like to crank that motherfucker <laughs> up early. You know what I'm saying? And get right into the action. So, okay. We definitely about to do that. Okay. We we'll jump right into it. Um. So you say Milwaukee, right? Yeah. All right. How long? How long you been out? You in Georgia now? I am in residing in Georgia. I've been here for like four years now. And, How you like it? Um, it's moving very fast. Just That's a good very, thing, very right? Very fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had to get used to it, of course. Like being out of the city of Milwaukee is totally different here. It is. And I had to adjust, and I feel like it's a great city. That's what's up. Speaking of Milwaukee, what's happening, Steve O? Pimpy King, I know you shot town by way of Pimp Walkie, you know what I'm saying, all, all of the good stuff. It's a, it's a lot of hard, uh, hard artists coming out of Milwaukee too, you know, um, but like I said, what, what brought you to Atlanta? Let me ask you that. I originally came here for acting. Because yeah. I, was already, <laughs> I was already doing different TV shows and okay. I saw an opportunity and I just felt like it was going to expand from there, but... I found my way in the studio. I know, that's why I said you <laughs> came for acting and, and, yeah. and, and next thing you turned into singing. Yeah. That's, that's damn that's dope right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I want to get in one of these songs. Get up into one of these motherfuckers right quick. Hey, this motherfucker, sure. I done heard this bit. This is a banger right here. I'm going to let you introduce it though. Okay, so this first track is Versace. It's totally unreleased, but I hope you guys <laughs> like it. It's definitely a bop to me. Hopefully it's a bop to y'all. Shit, they get into it. <laughs> See, don't fuck with it. Can't be Versace all 
love and nobody love for the party, my best is the best. Might not take the bestest. You need to stay broke, you know, stay messy. Stay close cause I'm fresh. Walk through the door, only coming for the check. Give a little look quick here all day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> so, so who's the inspiration to that one right there? Honestly, I was pissed off when I wrote it. <laughs> okay, tell us about that. I don't remember what it was um, <laughs> exactly, but I just recall being so pissed and I was just like, can't remember it's actually all over my body. <laughs> the life of that body might be the best. So um, at that time when I was pissed, I was talking to my best friend. Uh -oh. And that's why I, um, you know, said something about my best friend being the best. So you wrote that one? Yeah, I wrote that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up, though. That's what's up. So I mean, so okay, so you moved to Atlanta for acting. Mm -hmm. End up singing. Yes. Okay, so tell us like how your journey been going so far. Um, it hasn't been the easiest or the smoothest. <laughs> um, See, most folks think it just happened overnight, though, you know. It and it don't. Um, you have to endure the struggle. You have to endure the pain. You have to endure. Just the overall yeah. process of it, and you have to trust it. So you gotta trust the process. Mm -hmm. So so far, I mean, it's different for females in the industry. So and there's some trifling ass niggas out here too. You know what I'm saying? Trifling, good. I'm telling you. For nothing. I'm telling you. Everybody got a story. Give me one of those stories where a nigga tried you the wrong way in the industry. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that question. I'll try to hit you. I try what? to hit you with a in shirt ball. Yeah, in the industry or. or oh. <laughs> you can make me relive some stuff. Wait a second. <laughs> um. No, I'm trying to tell you. No, these niggas get down. Hey, um. <laughs> you, ain't gotta, you ain't gotta call on that. I, I don't. My you heart started racing on that one because it was really um, a tough time. Uh, it took me a while to get over what this person has done to me, and he's in the wow. industry. Um, well, you call names if you want to. I'm not calling names. <laughs> <laughs> I just shit. remember waking up on the side of the road and my tires were flat. So. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Tell us what the heck. Tell. Let's go there then. Uh, <laughs> that's one of the worst things I've ever shit. dealt with outside of um, misogyny. I yeah. guess people were upset that I wasn't trying to be sexually active. So I had some people yeah, trying to get you to fuck attack me. Yeah, attack me on that type of level and was mad I wasn't giving it up and yeah. doing the most. It's crazy. That's, yeah. that, that's, do you do you face that a lot or? I face it a lot because I know I'm attractive. Yeah, so niggas be trying to swap out studio, all kind of shit, mm -hmm. right? Or well, producers, you no know, beats or. It's, uh, it's crazy as hell. Yeah. And I know it's, it's got to be hard being a female, especially today. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, hell, yeah, ladies. I get through it, so. Ladies been taking over like a lot of like, uh, <laughs> Shit, for real. I mean, I'm ready to take over. Shit, it's your time. It's the golden maid. I'm trying to tell you, it's your time. Yeah. You know, so, so what's been, you know, the hardest part of your journey so far? Um, Being away from my daughter. I have an okay. eight-year-old daughter. Um, she, Where, she's, what's she at? She's um she's here in Georgia. Okay. Um, she keep you going, inspires though. me a lot. She inspires me a lot. Uh, she is <laughs> she surprised me with um because she plays the piano and she oh, that's sings. Dope. She plays the guitar, harmonica, whatever you want to you know. But uh, she surprised me with um, called me one day and she was like, "Mommy, I played your song on the piano." And that's dope. She started playing it for me. All I could do was cry. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when you moved down here, did you move mm -hmm. by yourself or did you already have family here? I moved here by myself with twenty dollars in my pocket. That's a hell of a story, right there. So let, let's tell that by itself. That's mm -hmm. a hell of a story. Um, I had a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious because the minivan was just breaking down left and right, from handles to doors to alternator to tires, and somehow I don't know. I got all of those things replaced, but I was still. Pushing it, I was still riding it. Um, I had all my stuff in the car with twenty dollars. Well, I mean, that's what you was living for a minute, or you came down. You, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was living for a minute. Yeah. Oh, shit, that's hell. That's real shit. <laughs>
it's, it's funny when you look back at where you come in, mm -hmm. you know, what you have to go through to get to where you're at. So tell us what you got going on right now. Well, right now I'm working on an album. Okay. And I'm working on getting my tour finalized. So hopefully I'll be in a city near you. And y'all make sure y'all get them tickets. <laughs> show that love. Show that support. And we going up from there. I feel you. I feel the Golden Way. The Golden Way. Mm -hmm. The Golden Way. So you, you with a label now. Yes. Okay. I mean, is it too, is it premature or can we say it or? Can we say? What can I say? Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm with, I'm with the music group right now and um, they've been helping me out a lot and getting me to a certain level that I need to be and okay. other than that I don't want to disclose none of the information. Oh, well, you got some surprises on the way. Yeah, because I ain't made no announcements. You want me to make it here? Shit, why not? This is the spot. If we don't uh, do it, hell, let's make the announcement. <laughs> I would just ask her, but now, it was, we here say? now, we here now, so it's time. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I wasn't ready. I'm ready now. Talk to I them. just recently uh, finalized a publishing deal with Sony. Okay. okay. So, other than that, I mean, like I said, it's up from here. It's up then. Shit, that means it's up, period. Yes. Shit, let's get to another song. <laughs> Shit, hell, let's run this motherfucker publishing the fuck up. You feel me? So this is another single that I have not released. Um, it's different. It's called Different. <laughs> and um, me and my twin sister actually wrote it. I have a twin sister. How'd you um, do about that? <laughs> that is crazy as hell. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Okay. okay look, look. Um, but yeah, Different. And I had fun writing this. I had fun recording it. And yeah. Let's get into it different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate y'all watching Kings of the Nightlife. Um, I noticed y'all noticing us drinking all that good champagne, that good liquor, that good wine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got quite a few different brands on deck. But if you want it, it's easy. All you got to do is go to GotSpiritBrands.com. Again, that's GotSpiritBrands.com. Go ahead and order. You know what I'm saying? Just click on it, whichever one you want. That Echelon, whether it's that Violet Estates, that Queen Naomi, that La Troubadour. You know what I'm saying? Or that, that bougie. You know, every brand that you see on the show, it's on there. Make sure you go to GodSpiritBrands.com and go ahead and get that right now. Not now, but right now. That's what's up now. Let's get back to the show. <laughs> so, coming here from Milwaukee, 
did you ever see yourself at this point? I mean, of course we all hope for it, but a lot exactly. of us don't see it. Um, honestly, yes and no. I'm gonna say yes because I've always seen myself as a performer and creating music and giving off good vibes. No, because I've always had certain people uh, in the background, low key hating and trying to discourage me. So more family, more friends. Which one? More family and friends. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this, that's why I think I, I find that a lot in the industry. It's like, you know, yeah, just I fuck that, fuck that in life. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because every opportunity I could find, I'm encouraging somebody to keep going and all those type of things. And yeah, you're I giving them all your energy. Yeah, like, and I mean, ain't getting, you ain't getting shit reciprocated. I'm not getting none of my energy no more. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about you. Okay, you got a twin sister. Yes. How tight y'all? Pretty tight? Uh, we tight, yes. I'm for, well, we're fraternal, and I'm seven minutes older than her. <laughs> the crazy thing is, me and her, um, we're the second set of twins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you got other brothers or sister twins, right? Um, my other siblings are brother and sister, so it's female and male. Um, that is some dope shit right The craziest there. thing is that um, my sister, she is seven days older than her twin brother. Seven days old. Yeah, they were born premature. Okay. And um, I'm seven minutes older than my sister. So. Well, they say seven is a good number, though. It is. Seven is a real. That's mm -hmm. like seven is more like a, a god, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It means a. It means a lot. Does your sister? Does she sing? Does she have? Does she has some of the same talents. Yeah, she sings very, very well. Yeah. Um, like I said, her writing is on different. Um, her writing is on. Um, a majority of my projects, so. That's dope. Mm -hmm. That's dope, shit. <laughs> we work together very well, although she doesn't live here. Okay, she's still back home? Yeah, or? yeah. You gonna bring her down? How y'all gonna go? Like, I'm trying to. But she wanna stay home? I mean, she got a husband and stuff, so. Oh, she got, she got a whole situation, a whole mm -hmm. family, a whole thing. <laughs> It's, it's, it's that way. Yeah. So, I mean, let's do it for the first time. Tell them where they can find you, all of that stuff, too. Well, you can follow me on Instagram at way Too golden That's W-A-Y, the number two, G-O-L-D-E-N. Um, my YouTube is also way Too golden um, My Twitter is also way Too golden Everything is pretty much the same. <laughs> W-A-Y, the number two. The number two. Golden. You taking bookings right now? Um, I'm accepting all kinds of games. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> she had to make sure she threw that in there. Like, ah. Long as it's a check, yeah. I'll pull up in the sack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, pretty much, you know, we got quite a few other things going on, too, go announce um, okay. on the next time, you know, dealing in the spirits industry. We want to pull a few surprises out on the ass. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't gonna, we gonna get it all to them yet. I, we gave them a nod. What, what else? What else you say? Oh, we gotta give them a little bit more. You always, though. <laughs> you know, they, that's that's the thing about the fans. They wanna know you. They wanna, they wanna, they they, they wanna know you. They wanna be a part of your life. You know. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm glad I said that. Okay. Social media, you know, especially for female artists, it's a lot to deal with. So I mean, do you get or go through a lot of different things dealing with with your social media? Um, you get a lot of haters. Let me ask you that first. I get a lot of scammers. Honestly, okay, like break that down. To hack my page and doing this and that. Cause I mean, I know everybody be wanting some money here and there, and I ain't gonna lie, I almost fell for some of them. But oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> um, I get a lot of that, and um, not so much haters. Honestly, if they are hating, I mean, they at where they supposed to be in the back. So I know that's right. Cause I like a lot of females definitely go through the, um, mm -hmm. you know, just the people mean as hell on social media. Very. You know, and you got to have a certain height of self esteem, mm -hmm. a certain self value to even be able to deal with some of the stuff that they say. Um, do you do your social media all yourself, or do you got a team that does it? You try to stay away from it. How do you kind of handle that part? I do it all myself. And um, I'm on another platform 
um, by the name of Big O. I'm mainly on that social account. Talk to us about that. I don't know what that is. Oh, Big O is a widespread of like having uh, new potential people to come in your life that you can make connections with. Um, that sounds like a dating app or something. <laughs> no, I mean if you choose to, you can do it. Out. But you can still post on like your feed. You can post um, statuses. It's like a it's Twitter, we Instagram, you, Facebook combined. We gotta get you a big old check. Amazing. Big O, we need the check over here. Well, I already get paid on there. It's oh yeah, yeah. It's a monthly check or whatever. Put these on something. <laughs> it's a monthly you check. Like y'all would love it, and y'all would. Be able to connect with y'all fans more. I connect with a lot of people that um, actually support my music. Man, look at her. You just gave them a jewel right there. I did, yeah. and I shouldn't have. <laughs> well, no, I'm just kidding. Let them know what it is. Because they all going to go to Big O and find you. So, you, what is it like? You just go download the app? You can just download the app. I'm actually not way too golden on Big O. I'm golden's rule. Okay. And golden's rule is to send me some money before I even speak. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> so what, what do you think about um, artists on um, OnlyFans? Well, I think they're gonna shut that down now. But what did you think about OnlyFans? I thought it was a good thing, only because it's not what everybody think it is. You can literally exactly do everything that you do on YouTube on on Big O. Right, but for some reason they got that stigma on it, like it was just a yeah, sex thing. Yeah, it's not. You can have fitness workouts, cooking videos. You can do your music on there. But you just gotta know how to use the tool. I don't have the OnlyFans personally, but um, I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Versus, you watch Versus? Um, not as much as I used to, like oh, during to. quarantine yeah. and stuff like that. Um, What's your favorite Versus? Mm, yeah. I go lie. I'm gonna say Gucci and Jeezy. <laughs> That's mine too. That was my favorite one. That's mine too. Yeah. It was that was like. So crazy and personal, it was hard to tell. Yeah. Who's your favorite artist? My of all time. Of first. all time? First. Okay. Um, I love of all time. Yeah. I'm gonna say Mary J. Blige and uh, Kelly uh, Price. Oh, I said one. Oh you that's, gonna come with two. See, that's that's <laughs> too hard then. It was too hard because I could keep going. <laughs> but Mary I mean I get Mary J. I don't hear I don't hear Kelly Price a lot. You might be actually the first person I heard say Kelly Price. Wow. Yeah, and, she was a um Big impact in the family household on Saturdays was just cleaning. I know that's right. That's the black. <laughs> if y'all don't know, that's the black household on Saturday. Exactly on Saturday. You wake up to you, pine sma- uh pine sauce. Yes. Pine sauce. Yeah, pine <laughs> sauce, bleach, and get your ass out the bed. You got stuff to do today. I'm trying to tell you, Mama already in there clean, vacuum mm-hmm. on. She got that old school plan yeah. or that new school plan. My mom, my mom used to clean up the two shorts. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I am done. I wake up in the morning, all I hear is, bitch. <laughs> That's how it was. My house. But see, my mom had me, she was young. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She was having me when she was 12, so. Oh, wow. Shit, it was, it was a little different. You know? yeah. <laughs> I come in the living room, that's all I see. That's the trademark. <laughs> you know, yeah, I get my cereal and shit. I think I'm a player. Yeah. You know? it's, 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 it's wild like that. You know Where's your mother now? Oh, she passed away. Uh, oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, that was, I mean, no, it was all good. You know, we all had a good day. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just a little, that was definitely a part of life. You know what I'm saying? Just a new chapter, so they say. Yeah. You know, but she, we had a good ass time, man. You know what You know, so, I mean, you got to cherish the people that you love while they're here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you give folks their flowers and roses while they're here, too. You know, so we want to congratulate you on what you got going on. Thank you. Yeah. You doing your thing. Ain't, ain't nothing better for me than seeing black folk win. That's big shit to me. I ain't, I ain't got a hate ball in my body. I need to see more black folk win. Right. I feel great. I feel great too. So what, what's your plans for the future? For the future, I just want to expand, um, build up on my brands that I introduce in the future. Is there, is there any other brands that we miss in the data we're not telling them about that they need to go get right now? I want to make sure I catch y'all that. Not right now, no. Okay, okay. But you got some shit coming <laughs> in the future. Right I now, you need to be looking out for this album right now. Correct. So I'm mainly focused on getting my body right and making sure I look good when I perform for everybody. Hey, that, that's, that's, 
fan. That's that's love right there. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I wanna I wanna appreciate you for coming out. Thank you. This is the first time. Oh, we're gonna have you back again. Okay. Like real damn soon. <laughs> and Saturday, make sure she performing live. Saturday, June 25th. It's the Kings of the Nightlife live podcast. Shit going bananas. Um go check for more tickets. I know the tickets were sold out when we checked last, but we need to go check for the more tickets. What's happening? You know what I'm saying? Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in to Kings of the Nightlight. So I got to talk to y'all real quick about something serious. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because we are the Kings of the Nightlight, we got to make sure we're taking care of our queens and our children. So homelessness is a big situation going on in the city of Atlanta. You'll be surprised how many homeless families there are. Um, fathers, mothers, and children all together in a certain situation. So what we want to do is we want to give a family a home for the holidays. You don't know anybody's situation and you don't know which way life would take you at any time. So I challenge y'all to go down to the Patreon below and donate. You know what I'm saying? Um, donate, sponsor, whatever. However you want to say it. You know, we want to make sure we give a family a home for the holidays this holiday. Now, we get an early start, but we got to start early. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that we can do this for the holiday season. So go to the Patreon. I'm going to make sure I send the link below. Go to the Patreon. And donate. I don't care if it's a dollar, a month, five dollars, ten, twenty, whatever you can do. It's all good. But we just want to make sure we give a family a home for the holidays. So appreciate y'all again for watching, for following us, for rocking with us. Now, let's take care of our business and make sure we get one of these families a home. I'll holler.